Ladies and gentlemen, they have done it. Fragrance Dubois has come out with the ultimate date night elixir, the perfect aphrodisiac that can be worn equally well by women as well as men. <laughs> I got a treat for you guys today. It is their latest release, and the fragrance is simply and perfectly and aptly named. Let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? I am Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. On this channel, we get into fashion and fragrance. So if you're into smelling good and looking good, which I hopefully, you know, anybody who's listening to this video is, <laughs> I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Guys, I'm super excited today because I have in my possession what I feel like is the perfect, the perfect date night aphrodisiac the perfect date night elixir fragrance that can be worn by a woman equally well by a man it is the newest fragrance released from the brand of fragrance dubois and it is simply called lovers i'm gonna run the intro guys because i don't want to get i don't want to get too much talk too much about it i'm ready to just talk about the fragrance so i'm gonna run the intro and when we come back we're gonna get all into what this fragrance smells like and why i think this is so aptly named. So if you want to hear my thoughts on lovers, do you know the routine? Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. If you could bottle up sensuality and put it in a bottle, I truly believe that this is what it would smell like or it would smell very similar to this fragrance that I'm going to be discussing with you guys today. And again, it is called Lovers from the brand Fragrance Dubois. Now this bottle was sent to me, but that in no way is going to affect my opinions on this fragrance. I simply will tell you guys up front, if you're looking for the perfect date night elixir, then this is probably going to be it. And that is regardless of your gender, male or female, this thing is an absolute standout. All right, so let's first of all get into the presentation. Of course, Fragrance Dubois spares no expenses on the presentation. This is a 3.5 ounce bottle, 100 ml, all right? And of course, let's take the top off like this. And inside, rest this beautiful box that has a nice velvet texture. Really hard to throw away this kind of box because the presentation is so stellar, all right? On the front, there's a gold plate that says Fragrance Dubois. And of course, when you open the box, that's where the real beauty is. Look at this beautiful red velvety texture that you're going to be find your bottle resting in here. This is just gorgeous, guys. Seriously, this is next level as far as presentation is concerned. And I love it. The red is the perfect color to me because sometimes you think love, you think red, you think the month of February. Uh, you think red is a very, to me, a seductive and sensual color, and that is perfect. And it pairs perfectly with the red on the front of the bottle. Check this out. Guys, this bottle is just gorgeous, okay? This bottle is gorgeous. You see the uh, inscription there on the back that says, an original perfume by Fragrance Dubois, a luxury fragrance redefined. Check that out. This is just a gorgeous bottle. And again, the red is just so appropriate to me because of what is inside of this bottle. So let's go ahead and get into that right now, what this fragrance smells like and why I feel like this is just, it doesn't get much better than this when you talk about the perfect date night fragrance. All right, guys, so I wanna give myself a spray on my hand here so you can see the sprayer and I can get into talking about what this thing smells like.
Beautiful, nice, controlled itemizer there. So let's talk about what this smells like. Guys, the opening of this fragrance is so sensual. It is so sensual. I think that they use the most sensual uh, fruit notes and accords that you can actually use in a fragrance. It opens up with passion fruit, plum, and ginger. All right, so that passion fruit and plum combination is the ultimate sensual uh, a core that's created with this fragrance with that nice ginger giving a nice little kick nice little bit of kick and fizz Oh my gosh to the opening of this fragrance now I will say pretty much my experience with it for the duration is kind of subtle But that is perfect when you're talking about date nights. You're talking about sensuality uh, You're talking about close encounters. You don't want a fragrance that's going to project too far because you do want uh, the person that you are uh, in company with to want to come closer obviously and uh, be able to really take that fragrance in so I really like the fact that this is not a huge projector now you can smell it okay but it's not going to be one that you're going to smell from across the room but once you get about an arm's length away they get into your vicinity they're going to be able to pick this up and enjoy this sensuality now the opening of the fragrance again passion fruit plum ginger but you're also really quickly after a few seconds going to pick up the fact that there is rose in this fragrance now what fragrance that is made for sensuality that is made for close encounters is not going to have the ultimate some symbolism of sensuality and date nights and love in it which is the note of rose so rose had to be here and of course when you think about a nice date night sometimes that is kind of the prelude Sometimes it can be the introduction. You may bring her uh, roses for the uh, opening of the date, but of course, sometimes you start thinking about intimate settings, you think about bedroom, roses always come to mind. Whether that means they are sprinkled on the bed or they're leading up to the bed, of course, a uh, rose is a good symbol of uh, close encounters, uh, more intimate settings. Perfect pairing there with the plum, the passion fruit, the ginger, and of course, the rose. Now there's also jasmine in this fragrance that really lends to uh, more, of, uh, plays more of a supporting role there in the heart uh, with the rose. The rose is definitely the most prominent uh, to my nose. And like I said, the uh, jasmine kind of rests there in the background. You can pick it up though, but this is more about the rose. And I think that if you're gonna have this kind of scent, obviously I think rose is a more uh, important note to really add and lend to that whole idea of a very uh, sensual fragrance so again amazing fragrance the opening is amazing and of course as it starts to dry down when the rose and more of that jasmine starts to come in beautiful well, guys as this fragrance dries down and this of course is what you're going to be left with the most on this fragrance the base notes here in this fragrance again very well done cashmere wood really lends this really warm uh, air of sensuality to the fragrance you have some patchouli in here uh, cedar wood, vetiver, and sandalwood. That sandalwood obviously really gives that, of course, that creaminess to this fragrance, which I think is perfect. A very milky, pause, sandalwood note <laughs> uh, in this fragrance. Again, just to really round this out, this beautiful, sexy, sensual, woody base of this fragrance is just a perfect way, in my opinion, to kind of round out such a sensual, oh man, this is good. The essential date night fragrance. So in my humble opinion, this is a home run for what it was intended for, for lovers. Because I can really see male or female wearing this. I think it would play well on feminine skin as well as masculine skin as well. And again, when you listen to the note breakdown, the rose, the jasmine, the passion fruit, the plum, saffron, the sandalwood, the cedarwood, you know, again, vetiver. Just the perfect, uh, again, pairing of notes that would... Uh, lend itself to being a fragrance that is good for the male or the female. All right. So I think it is, you know, the perfect, like I said, fragrance that will be great for lovers, both the man as well as the woman. Uh, guys, this fragrance retails for about $350, $365, somewhere in that uh, price range. And again, it's a 100 ml fragrance. So if you want to check it out, 
you know, um, I'll make sure I link Fragrance Du Bois down below. I don't have any discount codes or anything, but if you do want to check it out, uh, I just want to make sure I link it down below where you can do so. But for me, when you talk about date night fragrances, this is, in my humble opinion, a home run. It is perfect for date night close encounter type situations. That's when I would use this fragrance, all right? Obviously, if you're, you know, you like it, um, you can wear it anywhere, but again, when we talk about fragrances, that's one of the things we do. We kind of talk about settings and uh, occasions to wear, and I think anything close encounter, any date night situation, this is perfect. But guys, that is all the time that I have today. I hope you enjoyed uh, my initial impressions of the newest fragrance from the brand Fragrance Dubois, and it is simply and appropriately entitled Lovers. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget, guys, make sure you take a few moments out to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or maybe find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.